Welcome back, everybody. Glad you're here. They just dropped a new trailer for Napoleon, starring Joaquin Phoenix, uh, directed by Ridley Scott. Uh, I'm a huge, huge fan of Ridley Scott. I love his stuff. This is them teaming up since uh, the first, since they did uh, first time since they did uh, Gladiator together. <clears throat> so th I didn't even know this was happening. Um, which is pretty funny because I was actually just thinking the other day I saw something about Napoleon and I was like, man, they need to do a movie about it. I'm like, I'm surprised there hasn't been a huge thing. And here it is. It's epic. Uh, so Redley Scott doing an epic Napoleon. This is supposed to come out in Thanksgiving, I believe I saw. But uh, it just dropped uh, and we're going to check it out. See what it's like. Here we go. Doubt you'll send the chaos in the streets. We must make an example, or France will fall. What would you do if this assignment of defense was transferred to you? I promise you brilliant successes. So many good movies. What is this costume you have on? This is my uniform. I led the French victory at Toulon. What is your name? Napoleon. As the course of my life has changed, Napoleon. I'm destined for greatness. But those in power will only see me as a sword. I suggest you take the throne as a king. king. On. Shall we vote? This vermin has held the world hostage his egotism and his lack of simple good manners. You think you're great? You are just a tiny little brute. There is nothing without me. All of Europe is uniting forces against me. What's the outcome of this if oh. you don't succeed? Your Majesty. We are discovered. Good. Guys! It's a trap! I'm the first to admit when I make a mistake. Oh. I simply never do. Okay, that looks really good. I'm probably going to have to see that one in the theaters. That looks so good. I don't know a lot about his campaigns. I, 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 I am a fan of military history. I just never really got into Napoleon. Um, just I don't know why. Uh, but man, that looked good. That looked really good. Who is? I recognize that chick. Who is that? Hold on a second. Pull this up. Vanessa Kirby. Josephine. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Vanessa. Oh, she, yeah, The Crown. She played uh, Princess Margaret in the first two seasons of The Crown. She's really good. Oh, she's in uh, Mission Impossible, too. She's the um, White Widow. She's the White Widow in, uh, in uh, Mission Impossible. And I think she's in the, I believe, I think she's in the upcoming one, part one, the new, the new Mission Impossible is coming out later this year. So, yeah, weird, weird seeing, I, I, I Huge fan, not a huge fan of hers, but a fan of hers. Like everything I've seen her in has been really good. So I don't think her, and she was in Mission Impossible Fallout. Yeah, I think it was Fallout. And uh, like didn't have a huge role. I think it was like that one scene. Um, but her first two seasons in The Crown were fantastic. I really liked that. I was, I was kind of disappointed when they changed all that, that entire cast over for season three and four. Um, but I, I man, that just looks fantastic. That's right up Ridley Scott's alley there. After 
doing stuff like Gladiator. <clears throat> I don't know if he's done another epic. He's done so many good movies, though. Alien, like Gladiator, Blade Runner. Um, just, I, I just love everything that he does. It's so amazing. Um, and I'm, I'm not a huge Joaquin Phoenix fan. And it, but it looks like they're, it looks like the way they're doing him there is just like so not clean cut, you know, kind of a little raggedy, which I think fits his personality more. Um, so it'll be, it'll be, man, I'm looking forward to that. I think it looked great. what do you think? Did you like it? I, that just, that just looks so good. I'm going to probably watch it again just to catch all the little things I didn't see the first time, but I just looked really, really good. Um, I think that was Marie Antoinette they were beheading at the beginning there and in the uh, French Revolution. So they're, they're going to be playing all the way up through the, that was the Russian front that he opened up, which was like the biggest mistake he made or something like that. So it'd be cool if it goes all the way through water. I mean, that's a huge, that's a huge story to stuff into two and a half hours, three hours, maybe. I mean, you got to go through like his exile and then coming back Waterloo the entire. I mean, just what a life that guy had, man. His entire campaign was just insane, both of them. So, yeah. What'd you think? If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you're not already because we're always, always looking at this kind of stuff. And uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of this because I'd really like to know. And uh, we'll come back and uh, we'll do it again. So you guys take care. I love you. See it again. Bye.